All right. All right. All right. Get ready. Get ready. Let's go. Find a home for Eye in the Sky. Mr. Nan, slow down a bit. There's no need to rush. We're just going to check. That's right. Why don't you hurry? 82 places to survey. We're racing against time. There are so many? Isn't that so? There were more than 10,000 at first. These 82 were selected through remote sensing technology. So that's how it is. Then let's hurry up and follow it. Excuse me, excuse me. You never lags behind. You, you lost your head. No, I didn't. Don't try to steal first place from me. Let's take a break here. The place Mr. Nan surveyed today is quite good. That's pretty good. I think it's good for observatory. Mr. Nan, what do you think? I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. Make dinner. Mr. Nee, don't set up the rocks yet. Come on, you. You put the pot on. Oh, how can I set this up? This pit is shallow and uneven. The pots won't fit. Oh, I see. What do you get? A concave land that is too shallow is not good for building the eye in the heaven. If we have to dig deeper, it's going to cost a lot more. Yeah, well, there's no room for sloppiness in science, so... So let's keep at it. <laughs> Come on! Let's work on the stove together. Or we'll all go hungry. Mr. Nan, how is the pit today? It's that big, isn't it? Mm. Oh, what do you think of this place? Quiet, comfortable, yeah. What about the station? It's too noisy. The last time I picked you up, I couldn't hear you. Which of these two places do you prefer? Of course it's here. We live to pick the environment. The eye in the sky also picks... However, it picks the electromagnetic environment. I got it. There's a big power plant hospital up there. That's a lot of electromagnetic waves. That's right. Too much electromagnetic interference will affect the eye's ability to receive space signals. Yeah, well, there's no room for sloppy science. Come on, guys. The goal is just around the corner. The sun is setting. It's getting late. Let's rest at the village ahead today. Come on, come on, drink some water. It's hard to walk up the mountain. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. Wow, it's so beautiful here. Well, it's easy to get around. Electromagnetic interference is also less. Mr. Nam should be satisfied. It's still not working. Why not? Look how much it costs to move so many villages. And it's going to affect a lot of people's lives. Why can't you do this and why can't you do that? Well, you can't afford to be sloppy in science. Don't be discouraged. Every attempt is a step closer to success. <laughs> <laughs> they say you're scientist uncles. You're looking for aliens, aren't you? What do aliens look like? Can you take us with you? Okay, okay, okay. We'll go find the aliens together. We found the right place to build. Mr. Nan's eye in the sky has finally been completed. Mr. Nan, we've discovered a new pulsar. Eye in the sky receives mysterious radio waves. There may be extraterrestrial rational life forms. Good, good, very good. Mr. Nan, wake up, wake up! What did Mr. Nan dream about? I dreamed of seeing the Eye of Heaven come true. I've been looking for more than 10 years, so... Mr. Nan, we just found a suitable place. Come on, come on, come on, show me. 